Hi everyone, in this video, I will solve a Ju 2019. Uh, this time, I, I take problem for course 2, and this is part 2. You can watch the previous part, part 1, uh, in my previous video. Yeah. This In this part, the problem is about factor. Yeah. And like as usual, uh, they have the instruction here for A, B, D, E, and G. Not all letters, but only particular letters. Choose the correct answer from choices here. Yeah. So I highlight the letter that we will take the answer from the option A, B, D, and E, and G. Yeah. In the number two okay let's continue given a sphere radius two with the center at point O we have tetrahedron ABCD tetrahedron is look like this like a triangle triangular pyramid yeah so the base is triangle and the the shape is looks like a pyramid yeah this is the tetrahedron a b c d a b c and d whose four vertices are on sphere so there will be sphere here yeah sphere here yeah and the radius of sphere this is very important is two okay the radius is two and let a b bc and ca is 2 so this is the same length with the radius okay and side bd here bd is a diameter oh so if this is diameter the center should be must be lie exactly in the midpoint of bd right here this is the center o okay so we can conclude this is the radius radius and ob and od also the radius o oa also the radius and or also the radius okay yeah because here we the given is oa become Factor unit A, OB become factor unit B, and OC become factor unit C. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, but be careful about OD. Yeah, they just talk about OA, OB, and OC. But in the in the picture, you can see OD similar with OD. OD is negative OB. Why? Because the direction is. Uh, one to the bottom and one to the top yeah so and they have the same length radius okay so we can say that OD equal negative OB or OD equal negative factor unit B okay so let's continue we already have OA OB OC and OD okay D equal negative B yeah factor unit of D okay let's do number one we need to find da 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 is factor unit of a minus factor unit of d okay so factor unit of a ne negative factor unit of d we can replace with this one yeah you can replace d with b so negative minus b so a plus b here you can choose a plus b is here okay so for the letter the first letter a we write here as six yeah because a plus b let's continue 
they also ask about M and yeah. Uh, right here, M and N denote the midpoint of the A and B C. So, I put it M here, M here midpoint, and N midpoint here. Okay. So I will find first the unit vector of M because M is midpoint of AD. So I will write like M is a plus d over 2 okay and as well uh, like m n because n is midpoint of bc so vector unit of b plus vector unit of c divided by 2 yeah so when we will find the mn it should be vector unit of n minus vector unit of m i just put it here M here and M here okay just substitute B plus C over 2 minus A plus D over 2 don't forget we have this one D equal minus B so I will replace here D become minus B so this is become minus A this is negative B over 2 yeah with simple algebra I can this is B minus negative B become positive so become 2B plus C and negative A over 2 okay I can simplify like this B plus C minus A over 2 yeah so you can find the answer here this is for the first part and this is for the second part okay so B will be C minus A here this is for B okay and this is 2 C minus A we got from here 5 right here so this is 5 and for D we got from here okay this is B so we got here b to here yeah? one okay let's continue to the uh, second to the number two when the midpoint of mn is denoted by p oh so we have p midpoint of mn so we can say that p equal m plus n over two and we also have center of gravity of triangle BCD denoted by G central of gravity so G become BCD right here so B plus C plus D divided by 3 this is the center of gravity of the triangle because this is B, C and D so we put all the unit factor B, C and D here okay we already have from the previous don't forget we have b e d equal minus negative b yeah? so we have here we have here and we have here okay so i put it here p here op means p factor unit p okay so p become m plus n over 2 i just substitute here and substitute the value of n here okay so this is a plus d over 2 plus b plus c over 2 divided by 2 and just simplify i got here a plus b plus c plus d over 4 but we can cancel this one because d equal negative b so this is negative b cancel with b right so the rest is p equal a plus c over 4 so we got here here this is a plus c and this is 4 okay this is 4 and e is a plus c a plus c is come from here yeah? a plus c here 8 okay so for e you choose 8 
okay and now let's go to the next OG or G vector unit G okay from here we got we can replace D with negative B here with negative B so we cancel here so the rest is just C over 3 so we got C over 3 here okay put the result here so this is become vector C and this is become 3 right okay vector C we got from here number 2 okay and this is 3 okay let's continue they ask the length of PG remember this is the uh, the symbol of length yeah the length of vector PG so we need to find the PG vector first PG is G minus 4 we have G here put it here and we have P here put it here yeah just substitute C over 3 minus A plus C over 4 okay so here uh, we just do like uh, say uh, equal equal denominator this is become 12 4 C minus this is also become 12 3 A plus 3 C yeah okay so this is 4 negative 3 become 1 yeah so become C minus 3 A over 12 this is the PG yeah okay they ask about the length the length of PG here okay the length of PG here so to find the length from here we do like this factor uh, if the the two factor the uh, if the factor dot we do uh, like operation dot product with itself like this it will be become like this right so do the same do the do this theory to find the length of pg so pg square means c will be dot product with itself like this so here 12 times 12 we come like this 144 and then we do like uh, usual multiplication c dot c c dot c become modulus of the length of c square and negative 3 a dot c negative this is negative 3 a dot c and this is negative 3 a dot c so we got negative 6 a dot c plus the last one is when we multiply this negative time negative become positive so 9 a dot a a dot a become a mod length of a squared okay from the problem we have the length of c is 2 right and remember how to find the dot product a dot c means the length of a times the length of c times cos between a and c okay let's say theta where theta here yeah this is two this is two and how to find this one you can check in the picture that we made before theta is the angle between vector a and c okay look at here now here this is vector a and this is vector c this is the theta this is the theta between oa and oc oa and oc okay we already know from the from the problem the length of r is 2 this is also 2 and we can also uh, get from here the information here that AC is also 2 here is 2 so can you imagine OAC is isosceles triangle with all sides is 2 2 2 and 2 so the value of theta here should be 60 degree because the angle inside the isosceles triangle okay so we put it here back to the problem here here so this is cos 60 degree so 2 times 2 times half we cancel this one 
so a dot c become two yeah i put it this result here into here yeah so this is six times two plus nine times two squared remember the the a is radius right okay so from here we got four minus twelve plus thirty six yeah we got twenty eight over one hundred forty four this is pg squared so the value of pg the length of pg become square root of 28 over 144 this is 2 square root of 7 over 12 we simplify square root of 7 over 6 so we get the value of length of pg square root of 7 over 6 we got here 7 and 6 okay and Finally, we the, uh, we will find the last part. They need us to find the AG and AP, the, the comparison, the ratio, the ratio AG and AP. Uh, and we see because uh, they fulfill this equation, so the three points AP and G are on straight line. Yeah, so we need to find AG. We need to find AP. Okay. AG and AP. Let's read what we have, okay? Okay, first AG. AG is G minus A, okay? G, I think we already have here, okay? G here. You can substitute here. So the, we got C over 3 minus A. I think I can simplify like this C minus 3A. Okay, this is AG. This is AG. And now we need to find AP. Okay, AP. AP is P minus A. We have P here. Put it here. A plus C over 4 minus A. A plus C like this. Okay. So here we have C and we have A minus 4, A become minus 3A over 4, yeah? Okay, so we have AP, we have here AP and we have AG, I think I can write like this. Huh, you can see, this is the same factor, yeah? Just the different number here okay yeah so we can say ag is one third c minus three a okay i can change this is become one fourth by multiply here with four over three right this is four over four third times by one fourth is exactly the same with one third right and i will replace here with AP okay because from here this is exactly the same so AG is four third of AP so the last section here AG is four third of AP okay thank you for watching this video hope this video helped you to solve and learn about AG problem see you in the next video